Shaver 1000 here. Today we're going to be installing six of these six inch canless, I guess you can call them recessed lighting. Um, they are LEDs, but in order to do this, we're going to need some other stuff. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, so this is what we got here. Let me move some of the stuff. Alright. Okay, so. 14 watts. 850 lumens. Uh, what's that 35,000 hours um, it's IC rated and energy saving see the energy star all right we got six of these okay now these are canless now they they do have different lighting but the issue is we'll get we'll get with that get we'll talk about that later okay let me make sure I turn anything on here I'm gonna need this for the switch we are moving the switch from back over there over to here where it should have been to begin with um, I'm going to be using this saw this whole saw so that way it'll be easier than trying to cut it with I've got one of those knives but uh, and I got my I've got my wire here I got 50 feet of it this is a block off plate since we're going to be moving that switch and taking that switch out over there I need a block off plate and uh, the reason why I'm moving the switch not only is is it because it's it's n it's not feasible to be where it is um, but we're also our cabinets are coming in Monday this is Saturday and there's gonna be like a pantry put in there so you know either way it's got to be moved and we're going with this this is a dimmer light so or a dimmer switch and these are dimmable lights so i seen on here somewhere where it said dimmable yes right here dimmable wet rated i'm reading this upside down variable color and uh quick wire so let's let's go ahead and move this and we'll open this up i'll show you what i'm talking about about the color changing these are all the different colors you can get okay so you got a soft white warm white cool white daylight and cool daylight so I'm not sure exactly which ones we're gonna use yet here's my template to make my holes once I get them all marked out and of course here's these now what I want to show you is on these um, this is how you change the color by flipping this switch now if I want to change it I will have to go up into the attic every time to change these so we're going to find a good setting that works for us might be the daylight or whatever but then uh, that's what we'll leave them at so but they are pretty nice lights like I said these are the six inch so here's our, our little pattern there so what I'm what I'm gonna have to do oh the um I'll show you this and this is how they hook in you just trim your wire and you shove it right up in through there Whichever ones you're going to be using. So there's your neutral, there's your ground, and there's your power wire. Okay, and I'll show you where I'm going to move the switch to. So right now, there's the switch for this light here. I think that light's going to be coming down. There's the switch. There's going to be right here there's going to be like a pantry type thing coming out i don't know if that's going to fit in it i'm not sure what's going on we told him that's where we wanted to put it so hopefully it'll come out enough but 
I mean, I don't know why that, that switch was put there anyway. I don't know if they're running it off of that. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna move that and I'm gonna put it over here. Right there where it belongs. That way you walk in, you can flip the light on. Cause remember the bar is gonna be even with this. So the bar's gonna come out to about right here. So you gotta walk clear around and back there. And if you're coming in at night, carrying groceries you know you will have to walk clear around here around the bar and over there and turn the light on it doesn't make sense so we're going to put the switch right here you come in flip the switch on and it is going to be on a dimmer so we'll be able to dim the stuff to make um to film and whatnot so there's there's what they are this is what i don't like you change it up here so um, we'll just have to get them hooked up so what I'm going to do I don't know if I can run the wire if I can pull that easy enough out through there because I've got to get up in the attic and bring it over and run it down the wall or not so actually right there so what that's what this box is for so I got the one that will mount where you don't have to have a stud because I want to put it right about here because in order to put the one end up against the stud I would have to cut this whole wall out so I could hammer the nail in so I don't want to do that so I'm just going to go as far as I can here and run the wire up and over I'll probably jump it take it off of this one over here that shouldn't be an issue so but so the first thing we want to do is kill the power and take this light down so I gotta get my tool out and check for power and this is what the cover that blank cover is going to go over it's going to the switch is coming clear out so the cover will block that off so all right all right let me get some things here and we'll see what i'll film what i can for you um and then i gotta get these i'll get these marked off i'm not gonna bore you with that you know i just gotta make three because i'm gonna put two i'm gonna put one here and one here ish one here one here and then one right back here and here okay so um but i'm not gonna go up against clear up against the wall of course so all right guys let me get some things done and then i'll be back with you like i said i'll film what i can i don't know how much filming i can do up in the attic but really all i'm going to be doing is running a wire from here over to this area wherever I'm gonna put my first light in so it may be shorter to run it from <laughs> from there over this could be my first light I don't know because then you'll jump off that light to that light to that light and over to this light so this is eventually going to be coming down and what we're going to do is put one of those uh, air conditioning slash heaters right up above that door eventually. But that's later on. We're in Florida. We don't really need heat. That's what this is, was for in this. It's now storage. But this is where the furnace and the uh, air conditioning unit was. Well, the unit, the air conditioning unit was outside. The pad and everything still out there. Okay, so let's get started. I see you, babe. Oh, look what happened. Snow came down on you. Film <laughs> Well, we got the holes. Yep. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we've got five of them in. I'm trying to get out of getting up in that attic, really. I'm thinking about trying to run my wire up through and over to that hole. There shouldn't be any insulation in that. This is 
what it looks like so far. Back up here. Yep. All right, we're getting there, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, got monkey over there. Say hi. Hi. Uh, this is the last light. But I wanted to show you these these clips. Be careful if you're putting these in. Be careful. This is, is a fucking mouse trap, guys. And I know this because someone has told me. No, well, actually, because I found out. The hard way. And that's all you do to put them in there. So that's the last light. Now I've got the switch hooked up <coughs> because already tried them out <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to pull that down and just show you how they go in there here's the switch um, let's go ahead and test it out monk if you will so indulge me by turning that piece of crap off there this is coming down I'll show you when we're all done with that down out of there and stuff okay yep. go ahead ready yep Yay. okay here we go I'm excited here we go. Let's flip this on. Voila. Look at that. And here's the dimmer right here on the side. That's the brightest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. I've got it on. What is it? Cool daylight. Yeah. <coughs> I like that. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're so nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So, oh. like I said, I'll take this out. Yeah. When I go ahead and finish this, that's when I'm going to take that out and block that off. Right. This is coming out tonight, so I'll show you after that is out. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to shut these off if you want to flip that other one back on. Oh, I love them. I love them. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Big difference. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, I got to shut this, this back off anyhow so I can get them wires in there where it belongs. Uh-huh. And I didn't film much for you guys, so I'll show you at least that, right? Well, yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, it's pretty, pretty explanatory. And, and then though. this, all I have to do is take the switch out and uh, unhook the wires. And that is going to be so nice, I, a better idea than have it on the side of the cabin. cabinet. Yeah, because yeah. like I was yeah. telling them earlier, you walk in, mm -hmm. I mean, here's the front door. You come in at night, and now remember, the bar's going to be clear out here, mm -hmm. and the couch is going to be here, so it's kind of like you're walking in the dark to go over there, and then it's behind everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was going to put it on the side of the cabinet that's going to be here, but I was like, man, this is stupid. This is architecturally incorrect. So... I thought, boom, right here. As soon as you come in the door, you flip the light on. Or as soon as you come in from, here's the two bedrooms and the bathroom. So as soon as you come in, boom, you flip the light on. It's going to be so much easier and handy coming from the front door with your groceries. And you can flip the light on as you bring your groceries That's in. what I was just saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be really nice. So, all right, I'll get you set up on the stand. And we'll go ahead and just put this in together no big deal but I mean as far as as wiring these things it's just like just it's just wiring them I mean black to black white to white and green to green which is ground you know so you got your power your neutral and your ground and you just wire them in, in series well actually it comes from this way now it comes back here jumps over and and I only had to get up in the attic once, so. All right. I thought about putting two more here, coming off the last light there and putting two more there, but I don't think she's gonna need them, do you? No, I don't think so. We'll see after the cabinets and everything gets set up and then we'll know more. But that's no big deal because I can just jump off that last one over there. And mm -hmm. Right over. No. Um, Ooh, fabulous. Yeah, I only had to get up in the attic once, and I had to cut a hole in here to get to my wire. But, you know, it is what it is. 
Yeah. Um, that's no big deal because it's going to be a closet anyway. But the thing of it is, is usually when you guys cut these holes out, you know, you just knock them in, let the shit fall down. I wasn't thinking about that on this one. I cut it, knocked it out, and I'm going, oh crap. Now I got to cut another piece to put in there. So, all right, let me get you on the stand. Okay, guys, so I've got the, the power turned off. Um, as you can see, see this, this is running off of this, so this is my little tester here. And the power's off, see? There's no power. Now, if there was power, I'll show you this, it's a pretty cool little tool that was given to me. <laughs> now, if there's power, that's what it does. So, I know there's no power, so I can go ahead and mess around with this. It's picking up the stove. The, the stove. <laughs> All right, so let's get you back up here. That's funny. Well, there's 220 right behind there. So, yeah. You know, right, right in there. So. All right, now let's go ahead. Get these up in here. your wires down in the wall and up in the wall these boxes just are never Big enough, you know? I mean, because that's a double gang box. It still ain't big enough, you know? You know? Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I did that one up in Oklahoma in the bathroom up there. The dang yellow thing popped off after I had put it in there and it almost started a fire. Yep. And so my dad came over and fixed it. You I did tried it though. Yourself? Yeah, I did it myself. Mm-hmm. In fact I watched a YouTube do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that thing had popped off, I would have been fine. Some plastic popped out of there. Excuse me. Didn't pop all the way out. Mm. There we go. Yeah, this is the part I hate the most. See, there's still. Yeah. It's just a ground, but still. Dangerous. Can't be. And that was a mobile home, so they're even worse. They're smaller. <clears throat> they're with old. All right. Well, it's gotta go down. In here. This one's gotta go up. No. This one we're not using, so they tell you to put this on here because that's for like going from other stuff. So. Uh. There we go. 
Now, let's get our screws. Get our screws are already there. No. <laughs> you need me to hold a part of it? No. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Nine o'clock. Expect a low of 68 degrees. 71 degrees. Have a good night. Thank you. You're welcome, Marty. <laughs> I should change my name on there to Shea Bear. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And this, we're going to change this out. Yeah. I'm going to get it more. So. I'm going to run down there and get it. Okay, does it look straight? I can't see. Well, you can't see no how. <laughs> no. Nope. I can't find my little torpedo here. Or torpedo here. No, torpedo level. What I'm doing here is just. Looking at up here. I got one that's crooked in the bathroom and it bothers me every freaking day. Are you laughing, monkey? Yeah. Of course. All right, now final touch on this one. Yay! Oh, I thought I had it on the upside now. <laughs> Come on. Is it got a bend in it or something? I don't think so. There we go. There you go. Alright. That's gonna be nice. Yep, and then here's our dimmer. Okay. Now Ready? I'm going over there and unhook that and get that down. I love the lights. I just love them. They're so much brighter. I, know, I think you mentioned that once, maybe twice. Oh, I'll say it forever now. Yeah, I love my lights. Just like you love your drone. I love my drone. I know you Thank love you your drone. drone. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> Thank you for my lights, babe. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> He worked very hard no, today. Don't do this. Hmm. Don't do that. What is that? Oh. It's a deck screw. Oh. Two and a half inch deck screw. <gasps> don't do that stuff. Oh, I'm sure there's more than one in there. <laughs> so, no more of this. He's thinking about putting that light up in the attic. And so he has brighter light up there when he goes up there so he can see the spiders more. Of course, that one is a straight. Yeah. And yeah. Hmm. Why did he do that? I didn't put the light up. No, I didn't either. I know who did though. <laughs> hmm. Not very good. What the hell? Hmm. What the blue blazes, man? <laughs> you kidding me? That's how it is. Oh my god. And he knows how to put things together. Oh, okay. Yeah, he sure does. Mm, yeah. What do we got? Where's it at? In the middle. 
That's where the wires are coming through, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just snippy snapping and snipping things off of there. Mm-hmm. It's like nobody's business. And shove them up in because they are not hot anymore. Getting ready to go, anyways. What? <laughs> Jesus. Wow. How many holes do you need? Wow. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah. Put my finger up in there, finger up in there. <clears throat> my finger up in there. Mm hmm. <clears throat> wow. That's going to take a lot of patching, but I, I mean, it yeah. is what it is. Mm hmm. These wires are dead, so we don't need to do anything with them. So, there you go. Fucking dumbasses. Okay. Wow. I should have left it up. No. <laughs> no, it needed to go. Yeah. So. Well, we could put, if you wanted to, we could buy one and put one in the middle, but you still have all those holes. No, I ain't putting one in the middle. No. That'd be stupid. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to put one, we'll put one, it'd have to be in between these two in the middle. All right. So it'd be over here. Uh-huh. And you have to put one there oh, to okay. make it even. I'm, nah, I'm, nah. We're not having seven lights. It's either six nah. or eight. Six is enough. I think All it's right, bright enough. Check. Where's your camera still, honey? You're moving that thing around like crazy. No, oh, that's my arm. Wow. See, it takes it a second? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Yep. Cool beans. Yay! Yeah, it's pretty cool when it's clear on low. Mm-hmm. You flip it on, there they come. <laughs> nice. I really like them. They're cool. Very right. cool. Alright, guys. Here we go, guys. So, yeah. Okay. They are, they are bright. So, new kitchen will be in Monday. Tomorrow we're taking all this crap out. Yep. And I have over here, Monkey went and picked out her sink. Well, I went with her one day to pick it out, so there's what it is. Comes with a faucet. It's similar to the one we have over there. and But it's got a, a little soap dispenser with it. This should, this should be pretty easy. Um, it's supposed to just pop in. So, cool. Now, if you ever have to take it back out, I don't know how you do that. But, uh, so, yeah, that's all going to be going. There's some block-off plate. We took the switch out. And then hooked the wires, taped them all up. Because, of course, you know, uh, there's only there was only one power wire that goes into this and then out, up in to the light. So, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Let's hit them again, Mom. Dim them. Flip them all. And then flip it back on. And there they are. See, like I said, so now you come in from the bedroom, you know, your light's off. Because that light's usually off. And you can just flip that on right there. You don't have to go clear around here. And then over here to flip a light switch. That makes yeah. sense. It's <laughs> so much nicer. I'm glad you thought of that. I really am. Well, I mean, that's bothered me since I moved in with you. I was yeah. like, why the fuck would they put a light switch there? He said, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I don't. So, yeah. It's stupid I mean, where it was. Yeah. And now we won't have to put a hole in the cabinet to. to um... Nope. We'll have to put one down here, though. What? At oh the, yeah. At the yeah. ends of the edge yeah. of the bar, we're gonna put a receptacle in there. Yeah. So you may want to pick up two of them. Two of what? Those receptacles. Oh, you mean the little that blocky thing? The plug-in thing. Yeah. The All plug right, they're called the, receptacles. Yeah, you're, the plug-in. You're getting thing. a new one for that. Okay. You better get two. Okay. I'm gonna need one for 
the end of the bar here. And I'll need a plate for it. Too. Yes. Okay. So there we go, guys. So. Yes, we're getting closer. Yeah, and this. And this, uh, this is not my screw up or anything. That's no. where the old, this is the old thermostat controller was. So Where's I just went ahead and pulled that off. No, well, I'm gonna fill the hole in. Yeah, I paint it. And take this thing out. And uh, well, that'll be all painted over. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This wasn't a how-to video. It was just sharing with you what we're doing. And tomorrow, we're going to be taking out the cabinets mm -hmm. and the countertop and the sink, which that's not even bolted in no more, so that's cool. Yeah. But the cabinets, they just screw in, so we're going to take them out tomorrow, and that way it'll be ready for Monday. So yeah. stay tuned for that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope your weekend's going well. Mm -hmm. Ours is being busy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank so, you, babe. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So I love my lights. Shaver, met the man legend. Mike says she's out for now, y'all. <laughs> Bye. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>